I made my perfect build for NBA 2K25, and I've been getting crazy contact dunks, a ton of ankle breakers, and even making some insane shots over people with my new 6'6 ISO build. In fact, I pulled up on a bunch of other content creators and 2K League players the past day, and this build is clearly proving that it can compete with anyone. I mean, we beat Joe Nose, Koza and 2K Labs, two successful 2K League players on the same team, Solo a couple times, we even beat I'm Davis twice and even made him rage quit and break his controller. We beat Cole the Man, Slay with Steez, Keezy, and even Wavy Mellow. And I just hopped off the first 25 game win streak in 2k25 history just to get this video out for y'all so make sure to drop a like if you want me to test more builds like this one and let's get into some more gameplay of this build and exactly how to make it so make sure you're subscribed and let's get started it's good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger and i got y'all with my 66 iso build video today okay if you guys want to watch any other gameplay besides the clips that i show in this video make sure to go check up the or check out the two other gameplay videos i post did one for in the 3v3 old town event and the other with my first couple park games against some other creators showing the full games but yeah i'm just showing a bunch of random clips on the screen right now you know there was a lot of times you know where i was making some heavily threes or some contested threes or some contested layups i was making some contact dunks i was getting some threes off I was going crazy. Now, I'm still not used to the dribbling at all, as most people aren't, you know, you know, who just started playing 2K25, but I was still cooking up. And especially first day, if you watched my first day 2K25 stream, where it was only creators in the park, I mean, we were playing comp every single game too. It's So it's not like we were just out in the park playing randoms, right? Right? Like we were playing good teams. Like these clips right here, you're seeing right here is against two 2K League 5v5 champions bro these dudes have won hundreds of thousands of dollars from playing 2k and we cook it up out here okay now i also played in the 3v3 old town park event after you know playing some twos against a lot of comp teams and bro the lanes on this build with silver interceptor are absolutely insane uh there's a lot of you know good dribble moves on locks i just gotta figure out how to dribble on this game i'm still you know looking better than most people though that is for damn sure uh the shooting is very consistent on this build i feel like i can there's always like some kind of green window when i'm shooting um questionable shots as well i also have been getting a lot of good ankle breakers like that one right there uh bro th I'm, I'm just in love with this build like i really don't have any like things that i regret about making this build when it comes to the attributes and i am going to show a bunch of different versions of the build later in the video depending on what game mode you're playing but look at that lane steal right there bro like you can get super hockey on defense with this build especially with its uh interior defense like it gets some crazy animations but look at this three right there that i make i'm making tight falling down three point contested shots i'm breaking wavy mellow's ankles if you all saw the clip earlier too of me making that crazy green over Joe Nose as well. I mean, look at this one too. Like I'm getting green animations on light contest. I also have deep bomber takeover and bro, that takeover ability when you unlock level five goes crazy. I have another clip of that uh, later in these clips, but yeah, this this build, I'm loving it, bro. And honestly, if I when I unlock my cap breaker, and as you see another contact dunk, I'm gonna put the cap breaker towards driving dunk to get you know gold posterizer so I don't have to waste my uh, badge elevator on it. And then I'm gonna put the badge elevator on Hall of Fame Lightning Launch. And I'm gonna have Hall of Fame Lightning Launch on a 6-6. I'm gonna be moving super fast, bro. Like I, I literally can't wait, bro. Like I'm really liking how this build's feeling. I feel confident with this build. It's a great build for the ones and the twos. I'm gonna make a couple other versions if you play threes or fives. But I was playing with this build on threes too, and I was going crazy as well. I mean, look at that, bro. Oh my god. If you if you like to use the dunk meter, if you like to shoot, if you like to be on these tall ISO builds, this is the build, bro. Like I remember I was cooking up with this build in the builder, and people that hadn't seen or played 2K25 yet were like questioning, oh, is that a good build? But once they got in the builder, they're like, yo, I need your build because like I'm struggling in the builder. So I got you. But look at that deep bomber shot right there with that takeover ability. Like I'm telling you, this takeover we unlock with this build is crazy. Like you can shoot from damn near anywhere when you get that. And look at the contact dunks are going crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead, get into the builder and show you guys exactly how to make this build. Now, once again, this is the build that I'm starting 2K25 with. The build that I did start 2K25 with, the first build I made, and the build I'm going to grind a 99 overall for my first 99 overall of the year. 
And I've been enjoying this build. I've been winning a lot with this build. Y'all saw the gameplay. This build has been going crazy. Now, I want you to keep in mind when I'm making this build, this build is built for me and built for what modes I play with this build, which is going to be mainly 1v1 and 2v2. But once I finish making the version that I made to show y'all, I'm going to show you, you know, a version you can make for 1v1 specifically the 2v2 version a 3v3 version and even a rec version of the actual build because i know all you guys play different game modes you know you might have different play styles and stuff too but this is just the build i made a lot of y'all been asking for it so this is what i did so first thing i did was go point guard now i went with the 6'6 six, six height you know a lot of people have been talking about six sevens you know obviously six threes even people talk about six eights but i wanted to go point guard no matter what so i did that's that eliminated six eight for me and six three i'm kind of glad i didn't go six three because i like to dunk the ball a lot and for example joe knows made a six three and he had legend posterizer and he's been using it the first two days and he just hasn't been getting contact dunks and this six six i made i only had silver posterizer at the time and i was getting some crazy contact dunks like that one over wavy mellow I had bronze posterizer doing that with this 6'6 build. So I feel like height is playing a huge factor in what kind of crazy dunks you can pull off, especially contact dunks in this game, regardless of what badge you have. So 6'6 is just more of my playstyle, taller type of build. And a 6'6 is going to get more attributes than a 6'7. So we went 6'6, we went minimum weight, and we went 6'10 wingspan. Now, the reason I didn't go 6'7 wingspan or 6'6 is because, yeah, 6'7. You can go 6-7 wingspan, max out, get that 99, or get that 93 three-pointer, get gold limitless range. Well, for my build, I play ones and twos, and gold limitless is like not needed for twos and ones. Like, you know, silver limitless is definitely gonna do the job. Plus, you know, you get more wingspan out of it. If I'm going silver limitless, that's at 89 three-pointer. I can get a bunch of extra wingspan from that, which is gonna help my dunks out, help my rebounding out, gonna help my defense out as well. Um, and I feel like wingspan you know is having minimal wingspan is definitely going to be a disadvantage in this game so yeah we went 610 wingspan which is going to give me the exact 89 max potential three pointer now i wouldn't keep you know cap breakers too much in mind here when making a build because you don't even get your first cap breaker until like starter four and a lot of y'all probably didn't even reach starter three last year so i wouldn't you know it might take y'all a minute to get your first five cap breakers but anyways We'll talk about that later. We're gonna talk a lot about badge elevators when making this build, but let's go ahead and start with the finishing stats. So with the finishing stats, I went with an 89 driving dunk. Now, the reason why I didn't go past 89 is because 89 driving dunk is gonna give you two contact dunk animations. If I wanted to get the third contact dunk animation, you can get at 66. I'd have to go to 97 dunk or 96 dunk, which is just like a lot of attributes, a lot of overall taking up to get a 96 dunk. But 93 dunk does give you gold posterizer, but I didn't want to waste attributes just for the badge and not to get an extra animation. So I decided I know I'm going to hit level 30 every season at least. And that's when you get the badge elevator for tier one badges and posterizer is a tier one badge. So I ended up using my badge elevator that I think a lot of you are going to be able to get on gold posterizer, but either way, silver posterizer was what I was using for a lot of the clips you saw in the gameplay, and I was going crazy with that. Now, I also put my standing dunk up to a 40 because that's where you unlock the one standing dunk animation you need in this game, and I've been going crazy with that standing dunk. Every time I get under the basket, I get that animation, so that plus one to standing dunk is actually very useful now we're gonna come back to the finishing in a second because it's gonna get affected by other stats but that's all i upgraded right there manually but there'll be other stuff that'll be upgraded automatically for me upgrading other things now going to the shooting we are gonna max our shooting to an 89 three-pointer and that's gonna give us silver limitless range and silver dead eye and gold set shot specialist now we're not gonna upgrade the mini the midi any more than that uh because you know it's not gonna give us any extra badges but we also do get shifty shooter on silver. We just haven't upgraded our agility yet. And we're going to get to that in a second. Now, I didn't upgrade free throw on this. But like I said, we're going to make other versions of this build in this video where it's they're going to have free throw on there if you play 5v5. Now, moving on to the playmaking, I wanted to get gold playmaking because what I realized when testing out this game, especially with dribbling, is that you are way faster the higher the speed of ball is. So I wanted to make sure I max my speed of ball to an 86 which is going to give me that gold lightning launch that is super important do not go 75 speed ball you are going to be so slow but anyways 
we're gonna go with that 92 ball handle as well which is gonna allow us to get gold unpluckable and gold handles for days and then with the pass accuracy like i said this is a ones or twos build so i went with 71 pass sack. a lot of people didn't like that when i was streaming making this build but like i said if you play 5v5 or maybe 3v3 yeah you might need a little higher pass sack. but i'm not gonna be playing those modes with this build and i actually was playing 3v3 with this build with 71 pass sack. if you're playing 3v3 park dude 71 pass sack is more than enough but 5v5 you're gonna want to have more pass sack. but i went 71 because that's gonna go ahead and give me that silver dimer and that bronze break starter both at tier two and at level 15 you could even put a badge elevator on dimer and get that gold dimer now enough of the playmaking let's move on to the defense probably my favorite part about this build is that we have this build plays very good defense 610 wingspan it gets an 85 perimeter defense it gets a 79 steal it gets a 74 block giving it paint patroller on this build and a 60 interior defense so yeah this build gets paint patroller which is basically a rim protector if you guys didn't know six sixes couldn't get that badge in 2k24 not only that we get silver interceptor and silver glove and silver interceptor is so good in this game i'd be getting a lot of lane steals with this build with silver interceptor we have the 85 perimeter defense for silver challenger i also get silver on ball meta so we just haven't upgraded the agility yet that i'm about to do in a second and i also get bronze high flying denier and i actually use my level 15 uh badge elevator on that so i actually have silver high flying denier but honestly now that i'm thinking about it i might switch it to silver paint patroller that that would be crazy to have on a 6-6 but we're not even done with the defense we actually ended up getting a couple extra attributes and defense rebound was super cheap so i went with a 60 defensive rebound to give us bronze rebound chaser which honestly is going to give this build a huge advantage because i'm going to be guarded by other point guards and most point guards are going to be shorter than 6-6 and most point guards do not upgrade their rebound especially on the twos court so yeah that's going to be a huge advantage for me having a rebound chaser now when it comes to the physical stats i did test out agility a lot in freestyle i'm not gonna lie bro i just don't think agility is going to be as important as people think it is maybe i'm wrong about that but so far i've been fine with my agility and i went with a 76 agility just for badges because that's how you get my the silver shifty shooter the silver pick dodger and the silver on ball menace so i went minimum agility just to get to the badge thresholds i kept it at 81 speed because speed is only going to affect um how you move like up and down on defense and 81 speed was more than good enough for me and then i went 70 uh actually no i went 79 vertical the reason i went 79 vertical is because when i do unlock my cap breakers i'm gonna switch my badge elevator to lightning launch giving me hall of fame lightning launch i'm gonna put my five my first five cap breakers on driving dunk so plus four to driving dunk and then plus one to vertical which will allow me to get that gold posterizer of my cap breakers and then i'll have hall of fame lightning launch as well on a 6-6 build which is literally going to be insane and then the, there's nothing else to upgrade it only allows us to upgrade off the rebound so we put the offensive rebound to a 66 and this is the final stats for my 99 overall 6-6 build that i'm going to be using for ones and twos mainly this is the version i made now i'm also going to show you a couple other versions that you can make based on what game mode you play but before we do that take a screenshot of the stats here are all the badges you get with this you can look over the badges these are the badges you get keep in mind you can use badge elevators you can use you know cap breakers eventually if you plan on getting those we also get a lot of very good takeovers i've been using the sniper takeover and with that deep bomber takeover ability ever since i unlocked that level five takeover it has been absolutely insane you could shoot from super deep with this build this build doesn't get any crazy build names but it is compared to james harden lonzo ball and cade cunningham so it's a pretty solid shades especially with james harden there and it is a two-way three-level shot creator now let's go ahead and show some other versions of the build depending on what game mode you play now if you plan only on playing the 1v1 court then i would just do this the only difference this is with the build i made was i just minimized the pass sack as low as i could go because you're not passing anybody on the ones and then i just maxed the interior as much as you could because there wasn't really any other bad extra badges you could get so i feel like just getting as much interior as possible would help out especially on the 1v1 court y'all already know how that court be going but i would just recommend making my version of the build because then you have like the option to play the twos as well 
and you know you don't really get anything extra by going minus four pass accuracy anyways oh and if it wasn't obvious enough the literally the build i made the version i made is like the best version of this build for 2v2 so if you plan on playing 2v2 this is definitely the version i would just keep what i made this is perfect now if you wanted a 3v3 version uh this is what i would go with this would be really good for the park or for the theater um the only difference i did from my build was i put the steel to a 73 because because after playing with this build silver glove isn't anything crazy so going down the bronze glove isn't a huge deal but silver interceptors where you want to keep it at and that's at 73 steel and that is very good on threes so we sacrificed the steel a little bit bumped up the interior so you can swing still when people drive on the threes and rotate well on the threes court if you have a good defensive team and you have good chemistry and we ended up using all those extra points to put on the pass act a plus seven pass act giving us silver break starter so you know people can run the break and we get that bronze versatile visionary and then obviously our pass is going to be a lot faster that 78 pass act and we also you know sacrifice rebound chaser but on the threes court as a point guard you're not going to need a rebound chaser nearly as much as you would on the ones or the twos and then we just had some extra points and there were, they didn't let us upgrade anything else except offensive rebounds so we got a 30 offensive rebound so this would be the version i would make if you were to play 3v3 only and then and then for 5v5 you do have a couple options here i'm going to give two different builds that i made for rec builds if you guys want so right here keep in mind free throw is just really expensive in this game um and there wasn't really like an in-between range i could go to it was either like you go 69 free throw or 99 so you do get a 99 free throw on this version you do get an 82 pass sack giving you that gold dimer you're gonna have a good pass sack on this build as well but you do lose silver glove i mean a silver interceptor on this build and silver glove can put compared to my build so you still get bronze at each level, which is not terrible, but you also lose bronze paint patroller, but you're on the fives at the point guard position. You're not going to be in the paint nearly as much, and you still have high flying denier for fast breaks to, you know, chase somebody down. Now, if you didn't want to do this and you wanted to get back to that 73 steal for the interceptor, you would probably either have to go down on the pass sack to get that, or you would have to get the pass sack buck back up and then just like completely lose out on free throw like look at this well, let me hold on let me put the offensive rebound down keep putting the free throw down go back to steal like look at the free throw actually is a lot more expensive this year to the point where i mean look at you're basically not gonna have a free throw if you want the pass back in the steal so you kind of have to sacrifice one of those i would just go down on the steal a little bit get your 99 free throw get your pass sack Put up the interior a little bit and honestly this would look or this would work perfect for rec right here now i'm in the park with the build right now you can see i'm already a gold plate i literally would probably be a goat every or any game now because i've played so many games in this part i've won like 60 games with this build uh i haven't lost much at all and yeah these are the attributes i have right now i already unlocked level five takeover as well and like i said yes i'm gonna show <clears> the <throat> my badge elevators i did put the tier one um badge elevator on post riser and honestly i'm gonna change this one to paint patroller so now i have silver paint patroller so our paint defense is super good on this build and yeah i mean these are what the badges are looking like right now uh you know i don't have every badge maxed right now but things are looking good at the 92 overall i'm gonna get the build to 99 eventually and i'm gonna pop up on the screen how i upgraded the build to 85 overall for anybody that did make this build uh, it's kind of tough, you know, trying to choose what to upgrade, what not to upgrade. This is what I went with, though. Honest, obviously, you can go different routes. Uh, but yeah, I, I just try to upgrade as many key attributes as possible. But, you know, you got to pick and choose, right? There's going to be good stats that you're not going to have upgraded that you're going to want to have upgraded at when you get to 85. But that's why you got to get to that 99 so you can just get all your stats but anyways if you guys are looking for drool moves jump shots make sure to ch check out the channel keep posted on what i'm posting because i will be dropping all of that information and we'll have a bunch of other content for 2k25 coming all year long but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace